Greetings, 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 friends. <laughs> From me and Awas, my loudest cat and my oldest cat. And I swear to God, she is not grumpy. She just has what I call a resting bitch meow. <laughs> like some people have got like a resting bitch face. Like they kind of look grumpy no matter what they do to their face. And my cat's meow is kind of the same. It's just like the auditory version. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the Secrets of a Witch podcast with me, Sabrina Scott, where I talk about life, love, healing, witchcraft, magic, tarot, and everything in between, as one does. And on the tail end of the first phase of the Magic Without Bullshit launch, so I think I will be giving the occasional opportunity to join up uh, as the year moves along but I wanted to talk a little bit about Magic May and how the hell that went and talk a little bit about something else I have planned so honestly Magic May was fucking awesome and if any of y'all have been living under a rock and don't know what the hell I'm talking about Magic May was kind of an experiment for me it was a group challenge experience over text so I hosted it on an app called telegram it's kind of like whatsapp the difference is that you can actually pin things so since there's so much conversation uh you know if people don't want to involve in the conversation and they just want to go look at the prompts they can check out what is pinned and so what it was was basically a group chat and every single day I posted a prompt that was related to witchcraft and magic in some kind of way and I shared a little bit about what the prompt was like what the questions are my relationship to it sometimes I'd share some photos just to give people a bit of an idea of the format of how to reply and how to engage and honestly it was fucking sweet like it was amazing like the connections that I saw happening were so good the conversations the diversity of practice the support like the emotional support between students was fucking awesome and oh my god it was just really really fun it was a really uplifting month full of connections conversations expansion exploration and it was just fun to see people show up every single day and engage in the group chat and obviously not everyone did like there was including myself like 39 people in there so 38 participants and most people did show up in the group chat every day but I definitely know there were some super introverted lurkers which is totally okay <laughs> and some people who said something at the beginning and kind of tapered off and it's just diverse and what I love about the experience was it is a temporary space it is a pop-up space so you do kind of have to show up in the moment or else you genuinely do miss out and I think it's an interesting lesson so I did get an email from somebody saying oh like I missed the last few weeks um can you send me the prompts and my answer was like no I can't <laughs> or really like could I sure but am I choosing not to absolutely because it would be disrespectful to everyone else who showed up and was present day to day, right? And I think there's also something really important about not, like, not, not coddling is not the right word, but it's like, I think there's something really important about honoring what something was and just saying, no, this is a pop-up experience. This is an experience that you do have to show up within that month in order to engage in. And if you don't, then you do actually genuinely miss out. And I think it's interesting, right? Like I think with social media and everything, it's like a lot of folks are used to things being there whenever they want them to be there. And I think there's like, that's okay sometimes. And that's how I run Magic Without Bullshit, right? It's like the course content is there for you to go take the course, like, and read through the worksheets and go watch the videos. Whenever you purchase that course, you will get access to that whenever you want. It doesn't go away. 
because that's the nature of the course. But for the nature of this small group experience, and it's called a challenge for that reason, because it does challenge you to show up every day. It does challenge you to be present, even on those days when it's really challenging to be present because you've got like every which thing going on. And trust me, I've had a few days like that too, where it's difficult to show up, but you still do, right? So it's interesting. It's interesting. And what else did I want to say about that? It's just been a really cool experience just to see people challenge themselves to show up in the day in and day out of whatever is going on in their life, whether it's a slow week, a crazy week, to just show up, to show up in the group space and to connect with themselves, with others and with their practice. It's a really lovely thing to see. And I think there is something to be said for challenging ourselves to show up every day and to see the magical in the mundane, right? I think there's something really special when we challenge ourselves to do that. And so since Magic May was such a massive success, I actually am doing it again, a secret announcement, dun, 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 in September. And it's not going to be Magic September. It's going to be Spiritual September. And so the questions, the prompts, the daily connection will not specifically be around witchcraft, I know, shocking. It will be about other aspects of our spiritual practice, like devotion, like prayer, like divinity, like our ancestors, like our spirit guides, like other spiritual beings that some people work with, like let's say dragons or fairies. It'll be about the holy dead, our larger groups of ancestors way, way, way back. It'll be about spiritual heritage, spiritual baggage, all those things. We didn't really talk too much about the, any of that stuff in Magic May because Magic May was all about witchcraft, which all about magic. And of course, if you guys know me, you will know that I do see the spiritual and the magical as two sides of the same coin. You can't really have one without the other. But for Spiritual September, what I want to do is have 30 days again of prompts, activities, meditations, community, the challenge to show up every day. And to have that be less focused on witchcraft and more about that introspection about what do I believe and how do I know that I believe it? What have been my interactions with spiritual beings over time, right? I do think this is the most neglected aspect of most witches' practice. Most witches are so focused on the magic, and unfortunately, a lot of witches still don't fucking know how to do magic, but they like the aesthetics of magic, so they call themselves witches. If you feel called out by that, just take my course. (laughs) We've been talking about it. It's such a thing. And so with Spiritual September, I do want to bridge that gap between the magic, the techniques, and then the belief, right? The, The spiritual resonance the deep intuitive knowing that connection with the other world with the spiritual world and it's something I think a lot of folks don't know how to connect to or afraid of connecting to and I want to bridge that gap a little bit in spiritual September but it's gonna be same same vibe and of course the price has raised a little bit since the first time I do anything the price is always super low because it's an experiment so now the price for spiritual September is $97 for 30 days of prompts activities meditations community and probably still a few bonus zoom calls so in magic may I did two bonus zoom calls the first one was the participation call so if you participated every day for the first two weeks you got invited to participate in the free basically zoom group coaching call with me where people asked about magic and it was a fucking great conversations that we had and then I was another cat mailing (laughs) and then the other one was just a bonus celebration call that everyone was invited to on zoom and we did the same thing just chatted got to know each other and people asked questions about witchcraft and magic that i was able to answer and just give support you know connect with each other and give guidance and just have conversation and it was beautiful to teach i love teaching this stuff and so if you missed magic may or maybe you fucking did magic may and you loved the group text experience 
you know, I think texting is the future, to be honest, but that's just me, you know, so if you want to join up, you can do so, sabrinamscott.com slash sept, S-E-P-T, my cat Awaz says that you should absolutely join, (laughs) so instead of slash September, again, it is sept, S-E-P-T, sabrinamscott.com slash S-E-P-T, I hope to see you there. I think it'll be super fun. I know it's a ways off, but why not give yourself something to look forward to? And I know for many of us, whether we're master's students, undergrad students, PhD students, or maybe we are parents of kids, September is the beginning of the school year, so why not give yourself a spiritual and educational refresher as everyone else is going back to school? Why not? So I hope to see you guys inside Spiritual September, and I also hope to see you in Magic Without Bullshit. Again, magicwithoutbullshit.com, and Spiritual September is sabrinamscott.com slash sept. What better way to get in touch with yourself, your spirituality, than in a beautiful group text container guided by myself, and I'm there every step of the way. In Magic May, I did read literally everything everyone wrote. Did I reply to everything? Not necessarily, but I was always in there making friends with y'all, connecting, and just vibing out. So I hope to see you in one of those offerings, and much love, much love. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day, my friends. Take care. Bye.